I'm surprised. I'm surprised you are where you are right now. I thought you'd probably be on another team right, right now. Uh, along with Don Nelson, obviously making those decisions, you a big reason why I'm here, taking a chance on a scrawny little kid from a you know a mid-major school. So, just want to say thank you for believing in me. So many times when I read something about you, or even like talking, you know, the word loyalty always comes up. Bradley B has agreed to a two-year max contract extension. Expected to sign Damian Lillard to an extension, four years. Steph Curry, five years, two hundred and one million dollars. What's What's important to you? You know, loyalty is important to you. First unanimous selection. Most valuable player. Size, Gilbert Arenas is 60. Anything other than loyalty ain't worth it, you know? I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. People are always saying about the talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, but guess who can walk? be the best player in the league. I back it up. I back it up. Marcus Aldridge will sign a max deal with the San Antonio Spurs. Aldridge announced his decision Saturday, tweeting, I'm happy to say I'm coming home to Texas and will be a Spur. I'm excited to join the team and be close to my family and friends. How about we ask that question? I don't even think they... The basket didn't want to get to the foul line even though he's an excellent free throw shooter. But now he's getting to the basket. You know, he's a special player and anybody can play the first three quarters. But what he's able to do when he do this... <laughs> That's, that, that right there is another level. I mean, that boy's serious, man. He's serious, and he's not afraid of anything. Outstanding drive by Damian Lillard. That's, that's a basketball play right there. Right down Main Street. Oh, goodness. What are we seeing? We see Damian Lillard rise up and about 30-some feet out. Knocked it down. Nothing but that. Oh, what a pass! What a throw! Lillard. Oh, he backs it on Gobert. Watching the superstar, he's been born right in front of our eyes. Uh, Lillard's uh, oh, man. How about that? He's played 96% of his games. He's the number one option, and he's been devoid of the level of health. We're watching Damian Lillard, right? Superstars are made in the regular season, but legends are born in the playoffs. To go, Curry secures the rebound. To the rim! Oh, Anthony Davis on the alley-oop! Rajon Rondo with the board. Fix up Nurkic. And he and McCollum get into it. Lillard is trying to cool off McCollum. Rims out. Davis the offensive board. Oh, and he throws it down. It's over. The Pelicans fly into the Western Conference semifinals. A stunning sweep of the number three. Trailblazers swept despite being the higher seeded team. They are the first top three seed. What about the Blazers is you need to make, if you can, and they're kind of strapped cap wise, major changes this offseason. My guess is they will shop one of Lillard or McCullough. Is that if this is, if the year you get the three seed, the year you have your best possible regular season, you not only lose in round one, you get swept in round one. Major changes are coming to Portland. And I want to make that note that when people say, oh, is it time to break up CJ and Dame? Here's a better question for these two. Sure, I'm sure. What do you think we need? <laughs> Me personally speaking, I don't know if you and Damien should coexist. And let me explain why. Should or can. The Trailblazers are expected to sign Damian Lillard to an extension, four years, $191 million. Never mentioned, you never demanded a trade. You've never thought about moving on like so many of these other marquee players have talked about moving on from their respective teams. Is it safe to say you ain't thinking about going anywhere else? Why would I be? I mean, I don't even think it makes sense. Damien sets up two men. 
Breaks angles. Sails to the glass and laid it in with a right hand. Quickness, speed, the burst. Dave behind the back end of the lane. We have a man down. We have a man down. Oh, no. And Damien scores. So many times when I read something about you or even like talking to someone like Pat Connaughton about you, you know, the word loyalty always comes up. I think it's like the route in my upbringing, man. You know, anything other than loyalty ain't worth it. You know, if it causes you to go against who you are or what you believe or you know what you're about, then it ain't worth it. Oh, 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 hold on! Oh, oh. Did you feel like basketball-wise, you had a chip on your shoulder? I think that, yeah, I would definitely say I have always had a chip on my shoulder. Those losses this year. Oh, Leonard, down the middle with the pack. Tell them where you're from. I'm a person that, that if there's one thing I know I can stand on, is I know that I have real confidence. Like, even in a bad moment or good moments, I know I got real confidence, and I know I don't doubt myself. So you guys are sitting here again, the three seed, again, playing a six seed that is considered very dangerous. What does that feel like? I mean, it's, you just know you win for another tough series. And um, for us, we proud of the way we bounced back after last year. I think it says something about the character of our, our group and the environment that we've created. And we also know that, you know, we got to come out here and perform. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the good thing is that we were, you know, really excited about getting back and, and redeeming ourselves. So I'm um, just happy that we, we had that opportunity again. Yeah, I'm excited. I think the team is excited and looking forward to the challenge. Peace line for first play. Oh, sweet move from Damian Lillard. That's good. Damian Lillard from way downtown. Lillard. Bang! And there they are. They have a pass. Lillard with a 34 ball. Long range three. And it's good! At the buzzer! Damian Lillard! Are you kidding me? I, I am a little nervous, Bob. Um, this is a tremendous honor. Um, you know, first and foremost, I have to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the talents to play this game. I love playing basketball. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's something I've been doing since I was, what, mom, dad, too, with Fisher Price goals. I mean, uh, from that beginning to to be standing here in front of you today, it's an incredible journey. Um, a lot has gone into it. A lot of great people that I've met along the way that have every bit of you know, to do with that trophy um, as I do. Pops, you're the example of what a true professional is on and off the court. You, I, I remember a lot of your career. Um, and to be able to follow in your footsteps. It, uh, it means a lot to me. This is special. Um, When I found out that uh, I'd won MVP yesterday, uh, I really didn't, didn't know what to do. It was breakdown crying and hugging, and it was, it was a great moment that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, but after that, I, I kind of just went and sat in a chair in the corner and just kind of thought about the journey. I kind of got an ultimate paradox for a story. I'm the son of a 16-year NBA veteran. You would think that my future was set based on that fact, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, I was always the smallest kid on my, my team. I had a terrible, ugly catapult shot. I wasn't ranked. I wasn't highly touted as a high school prospect. You know, everything happens for a reason, and there's there's a story to to everything. And if you take time to realize you know, what what your dream is. 
and, and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports, whether it's in other fields, you have to realize that there's always work to do, and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do, and you put yourself in position to be successful. It just made me realize how blessed and grateful I really am to be in this position, um, this platform to be able to impact so many people across the world by just you know trying to be myself. He is the first unanimous selection in the entire history of the NBA. And this year, the back-to-back -back 2016 Kia Most Valuable Player, Steph Curry. Iguodala to Thompson. Thompson out to Curry. Three-pointer. Puts it in. Golden State up three on 11 point turnaround here on the third. Shot clock at seven. Curry fakes. Puts up a three. Bang! Seth and Curry from downtown. It's a 10 point game. Curry will finish with 38 points. And the Golden State Warriors with a huge win on the road take a commanding 3 to 1 lead in these NBA Finals. Irving gets free, banks it in, and a foul. James fakes, James drives, James finishes, and the foul. That's good, LeBron James. Irving, bank shot is good, and a foul. Kyrie Irving does it again. One of the all-time great finals performances from a pair of teammates. Pass inside, stolen by Irving. Throws it ahead to Smith. Smith, alley up to James. Wow. Curry back to Iguodala, up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. Irving puts it up. City of Champions once again! Is there an argument to be made that losing after holding a 3-1 lead in the finals last year is kind of the best thing that could have happened to you guys? <laughs> it is right now. I mean, obviously, everything happens for I mean, a reason. You probably wouldn't have KD on the roster. You were the guy who actively recruited Kevin Durant. You had to know that there was at least a risk you would be ceding some of the recognition to him. How does it feel now that it's actually happened? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm happy, man. It's been here eight years. I've seen the depths of Warrior basketball. I've seen you know, the rise and enjoy the whole process. I've seen us you know, become a championship caliber and a championship winning team. And now we're in a position to do it again. So um, to help orchestrate that and to be in a position where a guy like Katie can see himself gelling with our, our team, with myself on the floor, you know, together. It, it's, it's a special feeling. Steph Curry, I just talked to Steph Curry's agent, Jeff Austin of Octagon. Uh, they just agreed in principle with the Warriors on the richest contract in NBA history. Five years, $201 million, and no player option after the fourth year. So Steph Curry commits to the full five years in Golden State, and he is now has crossed that threshold of the first $200 million a year player in the NBA. Tim. Curry on the go round. Back to Durant. What a play. Stripped to the ball. Oh, no. Curry. Oh, no. no. Back to Durant. Who tomahawks it home. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Curry from half court. Oh, he puts it in at the buzzer. Seconds left. KD to end the half. Kevin Durant way outside. 
delivers! There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again. Back-to-back -back titles. Three in four years. With a surprise move, the Warriors agreed to sign DeMarcus Cousins to a one-year $5.3 million contract. We'll become the first team to have five All-Stars from the previous starting lineup. And, and you hope that Cousins is not hurt because he's staying down. The freak injury to DeMarcus Cousins, who tore a left quad chasing down a loose ball. How significant in your mind is that for Golden State going forward? They just won the last two championships with these guys without DeMarcus Cousins. Bogut is back. It was interesting to see them give Jordan Bell a shot last night. To me, it's they can win without him. You look at the one championship they have lost in the last few years, as the season, uh, as the postseason progressed, you had injuries to Andre Iguodala. You had injuries to Andrew Bogut. So, like, yes, instead of having a 95% chance, I think they have an 88% chance. But that still gives other teams a better opportunity. And in advancing in the playoffs, you've got to be able to play different styles that it may come back to bite them later. This whole conversation has been about Golden State, and Jalen, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. But the only team that can beat the Warriors is the Warriors themselves. It's Durant, the Celtic defending, and Kevin Durant laces one through. And he's hurt. He is holding on to his right Achilles. As soon as he made that shot, he started Look whipping. at this. Look at this. He looked back at and he thought someone hit him in the Achilles. Like I said, I think this is more serious than they made it out to be, and I think the players are planning on KD not being back. Can the Warriors win a championship without Durant? No, not this year. No way. He defended by Capella with a three. Good! Thompson Curry! Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three. Puts it in again! Steph Curry from downtown! Again with some room, this time finds Iguodala wide open for a dunk. Thompson in for the slam. Now Lillard. Almost stolen. Lillard stolen by Iguodala. It's over. Draymond Green tries the three. It's good. Draymond Green drills the three. Will this decision to start Cousins be the turning point in this series? I think it will be. It comes to a time skip. At some point in time, you have to realize that the better team currently are the Toronto Raptors. Without KD, they're not that team anymore. Can I, I make give, this point I before we go? I give Golden State a less than 10% chance oh. of winning it all. I don't see it. Tonight, it's over. Kawhi Leonard is playing far too well. Doesn't seem to matter who they throw at it. Be it Iggy, be it Draymond, be it Klay Thompson. He's found his rhythm. The first four games, the Raptors were dominant and lead three games to one. But all of a sudden, Golden State has a new addition. Kevin Durant will play. And Kevin Durant will start. Ibaka trying to stay with Durant, knocks it away, and Durant slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. Thompson grabs his left knee. Now writhing in pain. And now all of a sudden they lost Kevin, and Clay's out. And oh no, we're just going to keep going. No, it doesn't happen like this. This historic run is over with. What? Happened here. Well, Kevin Durant is going to sign with the Nets four years, $164 million. He will join Kyrie Irving. All right, let's see Steph now. No Durant, no Clay. Let's see how great he is. What kind of year it's going to be when he doesn't have his uh, big dogs and doesn't have the support from other stars. They won't make the playoffs. They have no shot this year. Double team Steph had to pick up the dribble. His three is there. Oh, he make that. He changed his How did he make that? In his bag, deep, like the fries are at the bottom. Performance here by Curry Mark. Curry was knocked down, oh, made that three anyway. He reversing it up and in. Oh, Curry, what a first quarter. Curry for three. Oh, lasers at home. Steph has Curry from Stop. deep. 59. <laughs> Why not? Draymond you finds him another three. Oh. Got it. 62. 62! Curry cut without the ball behind the back to Looney to lay it up and in. That's one for the highlight reel. Curry, oh my goodness! What a finish by Steph and Curry. Curry for three. And Steph, an opportunity for a four-point play. Now down to ten. There is no double coming. Curry, three. Got it! He got it! It's over. It's over. Curry, 
is now second all time. There he goes. With 2,561. And trails only Ray Allen in NBA history. Rebound to Beal. Gets it to Wall. Four point game. Wall to the basket again. Every time, Scott. And John Wall's down. The Celtics can push it. Oubre committed the foul to stop the clock. John Wall already out for the rest of this season because of his injured heel. Now needs surgery for a ruptured Achilles after slipping in his home, according to the team. Matt got infected. He's got to wait for the infection and inflammation to go down before he can even have the surgery. Why hasn't Beal been able to recruit another superstar? Because the Wizards are not a great organization, plain and simple. But the Wizards are not an attractive organization right now. You don't see any of these stars talking about DC. Their team stinks. They're a below average team. Jalen, what is your thought on this enormous move with the acquisition of Bradley Beal? This is amazing for the Washington Wizards. Bradley Beal, the all-star guard in Washington. Signed a two-year, $72 million extension. That keeps him now under contract and out of free agency for the next three years. It is a remarkable commitment from Beal. Are you the kind of player, and is this the kind of franchise, that can attract marquee guys? The answer has been no. When you score 47 points in an NBA game, it is supposed to be a good night. But good nights have been hard to come by for Bradley Beal or the Wizards these days, and last night was no exception. Man, you know, I don't count any of my, you know, career highs that have been losses, so I don't give a damn. We threw it right out the window with the other two or three I had. I just want to win, you know, sometimes it ain't 50, 60, whatever the case may be, but I just want to win and whatever it looks like, so. Brad, obviously you got the news before the game that you would not be going to the All-Star game, and yet you were a rebound and assist away from a triple-double. Just give me the range of emotions you've been dealing with today. Um, first place, my little Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm a little pissed off about it, but I know how I am. I was kind of expecting it, honestly. It's disrespectful. But the real ones know, so I'm going to just keep competing. I'm going to try to get my team in the playoffs, for sure. His agent uh, posted something, too. His agent? Yeah. And he was saying, like, he was, he was taking issue with the Eastern Conference coaches and saying, look, this is a player, Bradley Beal, who stuck with this team, didn't jump ship, despite the fact they knew it was going to be a tough year. And he could have easily gone somewhere else, been on a different team, have a, a season like this, and automatically he's an all-star. Um, you mean the agent who let him take the most money so he can get the biggest cut? He's he, he not in a position. First of all, the Wizards are 15 and 31. No, so 16 a, I, 16. Listen, so Bradley Beal is a good player. Mm -hmm. uh, but they basically got the same record as the Knicks and the Cavs. But my it's point is, his agent can't complain. If he was worried, like, he took the maximum extension to know they were going to stink. So he took the most maximum money he was going to get also. Okay, but if I'm not mistaken, there's a starter on the All-Star team that's 12 and 36. Uh, Trey yeah, Young, but that's voting. That's yeah, the that's fans voted that. Matter. It's still also, so you not so, fans, media, and player vote. It's, it's, it's not just, just one coach smoke, Jack. Okay, but we can't talk about records all the time. Trey Young record is 12 and 36. <laughs> Bradley Bill should have been in. So just say he got snubbed. That's all you got to say. No, no, no. We're, we're not saying it, Shaq. We're saying Bradley Beal probably could have been an all-star, but it wasn't just this last vote. It was media, fans, and coaches. I'm just saying, you know, they're talking about, oh, he, he, he's good, he's averaging a point, but he's, he's only 15, 36. You got a starter, that's 12 and 36. That's all I'm saying. So Bradley Beal should have been in. That's it. Close or in the all-star. Walk me by your decision process of going through the summer. You had that, you know, big extension on, on the table. When I went into signing, like, yeah, the money's great. Uh, but you can get paid anywhere. Like mm -hmm. we were just talking about, yeah. your first one is the one that you want to secure yep. right off the bat. But after that, you, you pretty much, especially in today's you know players' league, you know guys are guys are going to do what they want to do, go where they want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I, honestly, I feel like that was kind of the easy way out. Like I was, I'm a little bit with Dame on this, mm -hmm. like because I even talked to him a little bit over the summer. What do you want to do? Do you want to build up what you have? 
or jump ship and see what you can do somewhere else. And when I was evaluating that, it's like, think about it as, okay, it's, if I go to another team, there's no promise I'll win. You know, it, yeah, we'll probably win more regular season games, but am I going to get to the finals? Am I going to get to the Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals? Am I going to win a championship? Like, those are what my goals and desires are. And I know for one, it'll feel more meaning, meaningful and powerful knowing that I've grinded it out, doing it in D.C. Did you really consider, you know, looking at other teams? I considered everything on the table. You know, I have to. I have to be selfish in myself. It, it just came down to a decision, of, okay, well, what's, what's important to you? You know, loyalty is important to you. You know, building around myself mm -hmm. is important. If I go somewhere else, it's not built around me. Yeah. I'm a piece versus being the piece and building around you. Another phenomenal move by Bradley Beal. Beal. Wow! Oh, my! Bradley Beal has bad intentions. They were met. Step back for three. The entire bench is up. Oh, oh, oh. Beal all the way to the hoop for the monster dunk. Oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> Beal continuing to be great. Beal for three. They're finding Beal. Beal puts it up and in. Underneath. 40, 45, 47, 51, 53, 60. He's cracked Pandora's box to score. The field, it's for two. Got it! Look at that move. Oh my gosh. Boy, he had him on ice skates. He goes back to the reversal. The up and under by Bradley Beal. First time as a starter, third time as an all-star. Bradley, congratulations to Beal you. Beal to the hoop. 